Exorcist isn't your average anime, and what really sets it apart is its pacing. Unlike some shows that rush through the plot, Blue Exorcist takes its time, letting us immerse ourselves in the world, understand the characters, and feel the weight of their choices. Rin Okumura is always picking fights with delinquents unlike his more studious younger twin brother, Yukio Okumura. He's surprisingly hired for a part-time job, but gets fired after he encounters a hobgoblin that wreaks havoc in the store. The next day, he encounters a demon that causes his dormant demonic powers to awaken. His guardian, Shiro Fujimoto, saves Rin and reveals that he is the son of Satan born from a human. Demons break into the monastery, targeting Rin. When Rin calls Shiro unworthy as a father, Shiro's hurt emotional state causes him to let his guard down and be possessed by Satan. Shiro gains control at the last moment and sacrifices himself to protect Rin. Upon seeing this, Rin fights back by unlocking his demonic powers with Kurikara, the sacred sword in which his powers are sealed. At Shiro's funeral, Rin meets Mephistopheles, who agrees with his wish to become an exorcist to defeat Satan. Rin is enrolled at True Cross Academy's Exorcist Cram School by Mephisto, the Academy's chairman. He is shocked to learn that Yukio is one of his teachers, having already been a prodigiously graduated exorcist. Yukio had always been aware that Rin was a demon. Rin demands to know why Yukio kept this a secret, and Yukio says he blames Rin for Shiro's death. After Rin protects Yukio from a hobgoblin, Yukio recalls Shiro telling him to protect his brother, which motivated him to become an exorcist. At the Academy's exorcist shop, Rin meets the shopkeeper's daughter, Shimi Moriyama. Yukio examines Shimi's legs, afflicted by a demon that dwells in Shimi's garden. That night, the demon transforms into a flower and merges with Shimi, prompting the twins to work together to destroy the demon. Inspired by their bravery, Shimi enrolls in the Academy. Rin's disregard for classes brings forth the anger of his classmate Ryuji Suguro, who is smart and studious despite his delinquent appearance. During physical education class, Rin learns from classmates Konikomaru Miwa and Renzo Shima that Ryuji's goal is also to defeat Satan, wanting to restore his temple back to its former glory. After Ryuji provokes a reaper demon in the class, Rin steps in and saves him. Due to a crowded lunch line and expensive cuisine menu, Rin and Yukio talk to Mephisto about meal plans, but he is not much help. The brothers go grocery shopping with Yukio's salary, and Rin cooks lunch for them both. However, when their meals go missing, Mephisto explains that his familiar, Ukobach, is responsible for cooking their meals and dislikes it when anyone else uses the kitchen. Rin and Ukobach engage in a cooking battle and become friends in the result of a draw. The class must attend a week-long boot camp in preparation for their exam to qualify as an Esquire, which is an exorcist candidate. Igor Neuhaus, a teacher, teaches the class how to summon familiars. Shimi is eager to befriend Izumo Kamaki, but Izumo takes advantage of Shimi. When Izumo's best friend, Paku, is attacked by a Nibirius, a type of ghoul, Izumo summons her white fox familiars, but they turn against her due to her fear. Shimi protects Paku, while the twins deal with the Nibirius. After an argument arises between Ryuji and Izumo, Yukio punishes the whole class. After Yukio leaves for a mission, the students are attacked by the Nibirius from yesterday, which splits in half. Rin tries to lead the first ghoul away from the others, leaving it up to Ryuji and the others to work together against the second ghoul. Rin learns that the Nibirius was sent by Newhouse, who wanted to confirm that he is the son of Satan. After the incident, Izumo thanks Shimi for saving her during the attack. Mephisto reveals to the students that the ghoul attack was actually the Esquire exam, and how they dealt with the threat will count as part of their evaluation. Yukio confronts Neuhaus about forcing Rin to use his demonic powers. That night, Yukio realizes Neuhaus will try to kill Rin, and the brothers face him. Neuhaus reveals that he is a survivor of the Blue Knight, the night when Satan slaughtered every exorcist at the temple where Ryuji is from. Mephisto promotes the students as esquires, and they all celebrate the occasion. Rin accompanies Yukio on a mission. The threat is Kuro, a cat Sita familiar owned by Shiro, who has gone berserk after hearing that his master has died. Kuro was a guardian deity, but turned into a demon after the shrine was demolished. Shiro was the only exorcist able to calm him down without hurting him. 
Rin confronts Kuro with the same mentality, calms him down, and becomes his new guardian. Yukio gives Kuro Silver Vine Sake, a special present Shiro had left for him. Rin, Izumo, and Renzo are sent for their first mission as esquires to a coastal town, where they meet a boy named Yohai. The town has been afflicted by a kraken. Yohai reveals that his father set out to face the kraken six months before and is still missing. Yohai believes that it killed his father. When the kraken appears, Yohai attacks it but is saved by Rin. Yohai's father then appears, still alive, and explains that the kraken is a good demon. Mephisto's amusement park is haunted by a child ghost, so the esquires are tasked to look for him. Rin encounters a Maimon, his and Mephisto's younger half-brother, who forces him to fight. Rin loses control and goes haywire, almost putting Shimi in danger. One of the quieter esquires defends Rin, causing a Maimon to retreat. This esquire exposes herself to be not a student, but a high-level exorcist, Shura Kirigakure. Shura had been a former apprentice of Shiro, and posed as one of Rin's classmates because she was tasked to investigate his connection with Satan. Shiro had requested Shura to look after Rin should something happen to him. With orders to kill him if his connection is proven true, she is divided between fulfilling her duty and keeping Shiro's request. Her doubts are cleared when she discovers that Rin loved Shiro as his father, and Shiro was actually raising him as a son, not a weapon against Satan. At the start of summer vacation, the class must take part in a three-day drill. Rin remembers Shiro and is happy he has finally found friends. The class must find peg lanterns hidden in the forest and return with them. Rin, Shimi, Ryuji, Renzo, and Konakumaru find one of the peg lanterns, a demon that consumes living things, and work together to transport it across a bridge. The plan goes awry when Rin accidentally destroys the bridge and awakens a Chuchi, an insect demon. Ryuji saves Rin from the Chuchi, displaying a strong friendship between them. The students return to camp, which is attacked by Amaimon and his behemoth familiar. Amaimon forces Rin to fight again, and Ryuji, Konakomaru, and Renzo try to help but are defeated. Having no other way to protect his friends, Rin is forced to reveal his secret. He easily overpowers Amaimon, but quickly loses control and goes on a rampage, cracking Kurikara in the process. Arthur August Angel, the Paladin, captures Rin and brings him before the Vatican, where Mephisto is placed on trial for treason. Rin's friends offer their help, except for Konekomaru, who is too afraid. The group travels to a temple in Kyoto to fix Rin's cracked sword, where Yukio and Ryuji are plunged into doubt by Mara, the statue demons, that tell them to kill Rin. At the Vatican, Mephisto states that his reason for keeping Rin alive is to have him defeat Satan. The trial is interrupted by an enraged Amaimon, eager to beat Rin. The Grigori accepts Mephisto's bet, which is whether Rin will come to defeat Satan or join him. Rin defeats Amaimon once more, and the Grigori gives him six months to pass the exorcist exam. Rin's friends now have mixed feelings about him after learning of his relationship with Satan. Shura gives Rin his first training assignment to learn to control his flames. Konakomaru is haunted by a Gufu, a crow demon that preys on his fear of Rin. Izumo and Rin are then attacked by that same demon. The Gufu has possessed Konakomaru to convince him to kill Rin. Knowing Konakomaru is possessed, Rin attacks him, going for the Gufu. But this creates a misunderstanding with his friends. Shura locates a portal to an abandoned laboratory in a forest. Ryuji witnesses Konakomaru succumbing to the Gufu. Rin slays the Gufu and saves his life. Ashamed of causing so much trouble, Konekomaru decides to leave the academy, but Rin convinces him to stay, which helps him reconcile with the others. The Esquires decide to throw a surprise birthday party for Izumo. However, Izumo finds out and says that the party should also be dedicated to those whose birthdays have already passed. The friends then include those whose birthdays are yet to come. In the end, the party becomes a celebration to everyone's birthdays and friendship. Yukio confides to Shimi that he does not really know his and Rin's true birthday because Shiro told them it was December 27th, but that was the day he met them orphaned. Yukio then receives a call for help, revealing their monastery has been attacked. The brothers discover that their monastery was attacked by a masked man whose objective is to kill Satan's relatives. Yukio tranquilizes Rin to keep him from going after the man, upsetting Shura, who feels the move was unlike him. She motivates Rin to control his flames. 
Ryuji, Konekumaru, and Renzo are held hostage by the masked man, and Mephisto is arrested by Arthur for unauthorized biological research. Rin manages to control his flames, saving his friends. The culprit flees, and Shura realizes that it is a woman who is Neuhaus's wife. Yukio meets Ernst Frederick Egan, who claims to be his grandfather, and reveals the truth about his mother, Yuri Egan, who was killed by the Vatican. Rin and Shura learn that Neuhaus's wife, Michelle Neuhaus, is dead and is now a reanimated corpse possessed by a spider demon. Michelle is now in Shimi's garden. Arthur comes to slay her, but when Rin risks his life for her, Michelle realizes he is good and dies protecting him. Ernst takes over the True Cross Order, appointing Yukio as the new paladin. Armed with special weapons, the Esquires take part in a widespread crusade to destroy all demons, even the good ones. They start questioning the True Cross Order's actions. Yukio is doing it because Ernst claimed it will help destroy Gehenna, the demon world, meaning both Yukio and Rin would be human again. Rin is arrested as Ernst plans to use him as a living sacrifice to open the Gehenna Gate. Yukio attempts to intervene, but once their friends reach them, they find that Yukio had demonic powers, which he did not know he had, have also awakened. Ernst opens the Gehenna Gate so he can destroy Gehenna. When Yukio's blood mixes with that of Rin, it awakens his demonic powers. Satan shows Yuri's past to Yukio. She was an exorcist who let him possess her so he could experience Asaya, the human world, as a human and became pregnant with the twins. Enraged, Ernst ordered her dead. Satan unintentionally caused the Blue Knight to free Yuri, who gave birth before dying. Mephisto and Shiro were sent to kill her children, but Shiro was unable to do it, adopting them instead. In the present, Satan possesses Yukio. Rin and his friends are defeated by Satan and flee as Satan begins destroying the town. While the other Esquires help evacuate the Academy, Rin manages to get his brother to regain consciousness, though Satan's possession causes him to shoot Rin. The shock from shooting his brother, the only family he has left, causes Yukio to break through and finally expel Satan from his body, and the brothers reconcile. Hordes of demons come through the Gehenna Gate, torturing everyone until the Esquires come up with a plan to open a gate to the Vatican, where it is daytime, and reflect the sunlight from there back to the Academy, where it is nighttime, to weaken the monsters. Rin and Yukio seize this opportunity and combine their demonic powers, destroying the Gehenna Gate. One month later, things are back to normal at True Cross Academy, and the twins pay a visit to their mother's grave before returning to their duties as exorcists. And there you have it, a roller coaster ride through the first season of Blue Exorcist. From family secrets to demonic battles, this anime has it all. What was your favorite moment from season one? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting anime content.